<laughs> Do you need a water stick? Next time I'm doing a segment, don't look at me. I told you not to look at me, Natalie. Do you need a water? And I'm not rush a uh, hangover. I did not say that. I went ow, to ow! <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, I went to Slimans earlier. Look at my body now. I'm shaped like a scallop. That's one muscle. Wait, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm on TV. How are you, Natalie? Good to see you. Oh, is it really good to see you? Yeah. Because just because, a few you know, minutes earlier, ago. Earlier, you know what I said? I go, I can't believe I'm working with Natalie again. It's not what happened. I'm a big fan. I have all her albums. <laughs> You're amazing. You're the best um, whatever you do in the business. <laughs> yes. What really happened was he went what? over to my boss, one of our producers, yeah. and said, What's, what's the host's name again? Yeah, you know why? How many times have we worked together? Twice! No. And I haven't seen you in like five years. It's been more, it's been give less than five years. Give, <laughs> just give me a kiss real quick. Just give me, mm, just give me a kiss real quick. It's getting weird You now. give me kisses, that you hug European, me, and you still don't remember sexual, my name. Okay. I, I, that, that thing was so good, the biscuits and the gravy. It, it's really oh good. See, God. when you're in, here in Cleveland, we have some really great restaurants. I didn't know the guy from The Shield was here. Yeah. I didn't know that he was a cook. No, wait, you, had, you do have a new show that's out right now. I, I'm really no, it's happy not out for yet, you. but oh. um, it got picked up. Yay! It's on a different network than Fox. It's fine, uh -oh. ABC. Oh. And it's called <laughs> <laughs> Splitting Up Together. And it's with me, Jenna Fisher, and Oliver Hudson. And it's a family show, so I have to be like really clean and proper right now. Oh. I'm a Christian. You're a, yeah. <laughs> You're never clean and proper. Come here. We need you to be. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Um, Ask the questions. Okay. <laughs> it's getting uncomfortable. Ask the questions. Do your job, Natalie. Okay. Well, see, Read here's the, the thing. Or whatever you I need don't to have do, a prompter right? for you. I never have a prompter. Oh, you improvise. Wait, yes, you gotta take some classes because you don't know how to do it. Here's the thing. All right. You're supposed to add information and see no. those little pockets of silence. You're supposed to fill those in. Here's the thing. What? What is it, Natalie? I like With your teeth. With you. You use white strips. Be honest. <laughs> Those I aren't have real, used they them. can't be real. I have used them before. Oh man, if yes. I lived in Cleveland, you and I, yeah, right? We'd be a team. A team? Like play tennis, that's what I meant by okay, that. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. See, this is why I don't like to what? fill those moments because I just kind of let you roll, and that's the nice thing about yeah. you. There's some comedians that come on. Because I'm a professional, Natalie. Yes. See what and I'm doing? I'm not letting times, like, I, no, no, there's no silences. Okay. I, oh, God, look at those lips. Why is it so <laughs> moist? You put it's lip called lip gloss. Oh, it is? It's you look really gloss. good. Thank you. How old are you now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 86. I am. I was in the original Karate Kid movies. You were, were you? I did a year on Happy Days and they fired me. <laughs> so what, but you also have something that's on Netflix it's right a, now. I'm on a show called Love. It's with Judd Apatow. You never heard of it? We I'm love Judd Apatow. Now, right? You are fancy. And I have a new Viceland show coming out called What Would Diplo Do With James Vander Beek? Oh, that's how you say it. Too. That's how you say his last name. Yeah, he, I never he, knew he how to say twice. it. Yeah, so it's good. You know, for years I couldn't work, and then this year something magical happened. And what was that? I don't know. I just have this confidence, and I have this. Um, I just want to go for it. You know what I mean? And um, just <laughs> it never works. It never, she doesn't like ethnics. That is not true. <laughs> I'm white. I have jaundice. <laughs> Can you say those kind of jokes here? Huh? I know it's television. I, morning. You are the only person yeah. ever in, in the in my career here yeah. to get that close to my face. He's the only person married? I will let get that close to married? my face too. No, so does that mean it doesn't Do matter then? Yes, we, is it, yes, we all, yes. It's not working out though, is it? No. It doesn't feel like it is. No. Yeah, because your energy is like, it's a little too strong. I have a relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so how's I'm yours going? Really good. Really? Yeah. How long have you been together? Four years and it's strong. It's really strong? Yeah. And she's way better than you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Natalie's the best in Cleveland. Give her a round of applause, all right? She's gonna get an so enemy. When you come sure. back, when you come back next time, I'm gonna be, what's what? my name? What's my name gonna be next time? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you Jojo. Jojo? To me, you look like a Jojo to me. I look like a Jojo? Yeah. I'll take Jojo. Yeah, okay, good. My brother's what's name's my new Joe, name? Give me so. A name. Andrew. <laughs> Improv classes, she needs them. Andrew? You look like an Andrew. Oh, uh, she says, go, go. Oh, there I am. Uh, come see my shows. I'm at Hilarities tonight through Saturday. Pick with the Efron, like. <laughs> come and see him, guys. He is going to be there all weekend long. You will really enjoy seeing him if you've never seen him before. I did come to see him once, and let me just tell you, the, the, the clothes best. did come off. I don't care. Is it all, it's do America. They all, do they always come off? And I don't, I don't live in Trump's America. I live in my own America. And... <laughs> <laughs> watching. He was watching and he said, you know what? 
I need to get in on this. Good day, New York. Welcome. How are you I've doing? been saying that all morning. I've been walking up to random New York and saying, good day to you. It's, 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 I love being here. Time, this right? is really exciting. Like the large apple. Yeah. Right? The city it. that rarely sleeps. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Welcome. go see a music play on Broad Street. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's a little bit out of town, I think. How are you doing, man? But listen, really so good. What, what inspired you about the so One we Direction came, perfume? So I, I, I actually, I have my own line of perfume that's available on TJ Miller. Does not have a website.com <laughs> and, and ironic luxury. Luxury.com and also uh, hot trash fragrances. That's the line is hot trash. This is wet garbage, our first scent. Oh. It's soon to be followed by toddler body and, <laughs> and warm urine is going to be available I'm in the curious, spring. Are oh, you stuff. using any of the composting from the first family in this uh, perfume? No, there's just, just a little bit of that. Yes, I mean, that work. You guys can't smell it. The first people that can smell it, and you can buy it online at TJ Miller does not have a website.com, <laughs> which I wanted to get TJ Miller.com, but the gentleman that owns that domain name is not allowed me to buy it. Why do we see you in your underwear here? I'm concerned. No so pants. This, so this, so this is, I, I wasn't able to get completely ready for the photo shoot, so they said, we'll just shoot you from the waist up, <laughs> and they lied, and that's why sort of from the waist down, it looks like there's two pale tree trunks coming out of my pelvis. <laughs> so this is actually available. This is a real scent. It's available online. TJ Miller does not have a website.com. I have no desire you, to smell well, it. Well, you're not going to smell it, Rosanna, because I saw what you did when One Direction, like, you put that all over your body. <laughs> and you, I gotta tell you, you looked beautiful, and I'm surprised one of those gentlemen didn't quit. Stop it! I'm didn't not. take a, one direction straight to your <laughs> to your. Hey, hey, hey! Now, I mean, I'm thank you, DJ. To so I'm going to tell, tell you what. I, I'm just going to describe okay. what it smells like. Okay, so the first fragrance you're going to kind of feel, Greg, is do you ever wake up and you feel like your life is full of potentiality? Oh, the opposite of that, actually. Okay. <laughs> There's a little bit of that in here too, Rosanna. Do you ever sort of wake up in the middle of the night and think, I've done it. I've finally done it. I've become the, the morning anchor on Good Day New York. Yes. There's a, there's the a hint of that. There's just a little bit of that. And then it's also, it is bottled in a, a bottle of Wolfsbane poison, so you can smell a little bit of that, too. I like it's it. available, ironicluxury.com. How much? TJ Miller does not have a website.com. For this size, it's $90. It is a high-end boutique fragrance. It looks flammable. <laughs> it is flammable, but it's also inflammable because those two things mean the same thing. Do either of you know that? Well, it looks like a molotov top cocktail, man. You and you look like an emotionally disturbed person right now. I am not an emotionally disturbed person, but I am physically disturbed, and that's why we have a toddler body available in the spring, <laughs> and that's sort of reflective of kind of the body that I have. I look like a toddler who swallowed a growth serum, and I'm serious this time, Rosanna. You look exactly like your character in Silicon Valley. You like it? Yeah. With worse exactly. facial hair, I what, think. Do you, like, improvise some of those lines? I do. You do? I improvise the Flavendi Flive. Uh, there's a bunch of ones I improvise. I hit a kid repeatedly, and I curse at him. <laughs> that comes natural. And I gotta tell you, this is the only morning show, it's, it is New York when you laugh out loud at, at hitting a child. But part of that <laughs> Sorry. is that you guys are brash and brazen. That's what I really like about it. You Although do? I was told I was not allowed to bring my own beverage on, because you do, this is, look at vodka. that. It's Good vodka, day, man. New York. Smells like wet garbage. Oh, uh, no. And you're gonna see, you are. You guys are gonna see that this Don't fragrance. Don't spike my drink. I won't, I would never, well this is too expensive to be able to waste <laughs> some, some sort so of So are you doing any stand up while you're in town? What's going on I am, on I perform you? at the Gotham Comedy Club and I've been doing a little bit of uh, improvisation with my sister Morgan Miller, who is also a, uh, a comedian here in New York City. You kidding? We love it, the large apple. The large. <laughs> so wait, your sister lives here full time? She lives here full time and I live in Los Angeles, California, which is a terrible strip mall of a city. Where are you, where do you and your sister come from? My sister and I hail from Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. Um, also, uh, Colorado being the first state to make marijuana legal. Yeah, so yeah. Have you, you ever taken tried advantage? Yeah. When are you? I never have. I've heard about it. I use it. I, I wear a lot of hemp clothing. I wear. I, I, I carry a hemp that. satchel. Yeah, that sort of thing. I have a hemp suit. I don't wear a suit quite as well as Greg, though. I got to be What do you think, huh? That. Convincing, He's right? Right. I mean, you're styling and you're profiling. I'm just barely styling. You know. So what are you doing while you're in, in town? Besides well, we've been bottling fragrances. Yeah. Right. It's not a hawking <laughs> thing. This is if you want. If you want to have the smell of New York City, you want wet garbage. But you know what? Let me tell you something. It's not just garbage. It's, it's wet garbage. But the thing it's is, it's not just trash. TJ, it's hot trash. But one direction, it's not just they Rosanna. Have a song. It's Scotta. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> but let me ask you something. One Direction has a song that goes along yes. with it. You and I. Yeah. yeah. What, do you have some kind of music? I can do, you do that for you now. Video? I don't have. We don't have music something video. Something that looks a... like you're swept yeah. up in no, the moment. No, but we've right. got we've got sort of we've got a song that goes along with it. This is the debut of the song. The oh, first time okay. I'm ever doing it, but it's just um, wet garbage, garbage that's wet and smells good. 
It's a. It's, we're, it's we're, very it's catchy, a man. Title. It is. <laughs> Look, if it's One Direction came up with a phony baloney perfume campaign, why can't you? I can. You're seeing it right now. All right. This is the best I can do. It's a good day to you, New York. Good day. Good day indeed. Good day. Enjoy yeah. Broad Street. Hey, T.J. Miller, everybody. Ironicluxury.com, HotTrashFragrances.com. T.J. Miller does not have a website.com because he doesn't. <laughs> Dot. Org. All right. <laughs> All right. He was just as good as I thought he was going to be. Very intense. I thought, I thought is you it were okay funny. to hug? Sure. Oh my God, this is amazing. Thank you, TJ. Sir, Put it there. Thank yeah, you for I sharing your couch with me. Do you guys want to hug it out? Oh, I would love That's to hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out. I don't know of a. He's, he's quick. Yeah, yeah, you see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you I think? what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think of these? Yeah. Do I look like I'm as insane as I am? <laughs> New York City! <laughs> New York City! Get it? Get my stun gun! Somebody get my stun gun! <laughs> All right, Please, when we come stun down, me! We're gonna stun go the, gun me, Greg! We're gonna go in the kitchen with Michael A. You from for Nino. All right, I'm one. sticking around. You are? Uh, well, maybe not. Until they get, until they actually tell right. me I have to. Taking our next guest on Bad TV. Have a little stages. bit more excitement. <laughs> Nationwide. I don't live here. I come here once a year. Have a little bit more excitement. More. Read You've the, seen. Read the thing again. Read the thing again. Let me go back. More energy. And take two. You've seen our next guest That's on better. Comedy Stages nationwide and on M Mad TV. That's great. And if you're hoping to get a few laughs, <laughs> you know what? That's then, but that your attitude. You can rely on comedian Bobby Lee, our friend, to deliver. I want everyone to clap. He's everyone at, clap. Javier, clap. He's at the Improv in Schaumburg this weekend, and Ladies, it's nobody really better. Good to be here. Let me ask you a question. Can I ask you guys a question? Yes. How many times have we been on the show? Like, like six. Or like five or six times, yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. Right? And we love From you. the old, right? So I'm in the hallway where the um, dressing room is, and they have a whole hallway of uh, headshots, <gasps> and um, you have, um, I have, I have it. I took photos of it. Oh. You have Kevin Nealon up there. Okay. I love Kevin. He's a really likable guy. Greg Proops, he's wonderful. Uh huh. Um, Ralphie May when he was fatter. Um, you have Greg Fitzsimmons, and you have Carlos Mencia, and you have Eric Griffin. Yes. Right? None of me. Really? No, no not me. me. There is a picture of you up there. There is. Can I just say something else? There's no Asians at all up there. Not one Asian. Yes, Joe Coy. Coy. Joe Coy. Joe Coy and Steve Burns. Joe up there. Coy is half Asian. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. That's Mexican. <laughs> Wait, are, I, what if no? You I wanted 100% Asian okay. on that wall by the t by tonight, or I'm calling the NAACP or whatever the group <laughs> I need to call. Okay, there's a group I'm gonna call. It's got. It, it, I, I'm furious. Oh, we're I'm sorry, buddy. It's, it's good to be, see you. It's just oh, inadvertent, 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 sweetheart. I'm sure you're oh, okay. Did you like, just? I try to squeeze almost, one in every year, almost. and it never it doesn't work. Well, you least expect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like open mouth kisses. I'm from wait, Europe. Okay, wait. Listen, really quick. We thought you were mad at us because backstage we have this tarot card reader. She does all the selections. Yeah, yeah, she reads yeah. her cards. She's coming in later. Yeah. And apparently she hooked up with you and read your cards. She did read it. And we thought you'd be really mad. No, I, 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 she changed my life. She did. Okay, because we heard that she I pulled uh, the, death she, the death card. The death card. So, um, but that's not what you're upset about. No, I'm upset about it. In two months, I'm going to die. <laughs> so thank you for that, too. Well, you know what? You know, this is what happened. This is what happened. We don't need to hang your picture. <laughs> <laughs> In memoriam. In memoriam. Well, wait, well, wait. Yeah, I show up. <laughs> wait. No, no, no picture, and then I'm gonna die. So that's what my morning's been like. Thank you so much, ladies. You're welcome, Bobby Lee. You're we love you. Bobby. I love you. We love you so much. Uh-uh. Don't you try your I tongue try, over here. I try. So wait. It's tell the us Korean us. hello. <laughs> If you go to Korea, that's what they do. They do. Oh, wow. is that? Is that what they do? Okay. And it's cultural, but if you don't want to get cultural, that's fine. <laughs> Push my people away even more. <laughs> or accept. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's an old trick. It's an old trick. Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. So how was okay. uh, the reunion for uh, Mad TV? We saw it. It was well, on. I was on it? Yeah, yeah I thought you were. Yeah, I, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I did do it. But I'm not in that photo. And that's not me. No, that's not. That's not me for sure. <laughs> Those right, aren't no. me. Uh -uh. If I'm not in this, I'm going to be furious. Oh, That's dear. not me. There, there you are. are. There you are. That is me. Yay. That is me. Yeah. And I went to school with Nicole. And that's Nicole Sullivan. Yeah, so, oh, okay, so he is great. <laughs> I was actually there for only an hour and then I left. Oh, no. Because I had something else to do. I had two sold out shows to do. So. Oh, well. <laughs> None of those other people did, right? No. no, 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 no. no they had... But so, I'm here at the. Um, 
at the Schomburg Improv um, all weekend, and um, I'm reoccurring on a Netflix show that Judd Apatow is doing called really? Love, and it's on oh. Netflix. And it, so wait, it, what kind of character are you playing I here? play a guy named Truman. I play Gillian Jacobs' best friend at work. Uh -huh. And I'm only in three scenes in the first season, but in the second season, I have a whole episode revolved around my character. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know your tricks now, Bobby Lee. I know, I know them. Bob, I know you Bobby's but now one. you have the bird flu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die now too. If you go down, we're gonna die in two months. <laughs> okay. <And> you have SARS. <laughs> you have all the Asian well, diseases. I, all the Asian diseases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, listen, you've been working out. So, what's you? You're working out with your daddy? Who's what are you your talking dad? about? Because we started yeah, working we your Instagram, Instagram photos. And, uh, yeah, but there, there, that's my dad. That's your dad. Yeah, yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, yeah. What's with your shorts? What do you mean? <laughs> are those? Oh. That really is your dad? That's my garage. <laughs> that's your garage. Yeah, that's my dad. That is my dad. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Did you just bleep that out? What I just said? You barely um, said. I you barely said. said it. It. Let's it's move fine. on. You're good. Yeah. What I, have a, I have an Asian accent. It comes out every once in a while. <laughs> So, what I've only been in this country you for kiss a long your daddy? Pretty good. You kiss your daddy with that mouth? Yes, I do. Okay. Open mouth. Oh, right. okay. Let's yeah. move on. That's weird. Yeah, that is yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a what look else? at... We Something have to see your baby photo really quick before uh, okay. you leave, because I want to see a baby Bobby Lee. Do you have Lee. a baby? Where's a baby Bobby Lee? There no. I am! Which one? Uh, well, I'm the bigger one, and my brother looks like a baby chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's that. <laughs> that's my brother, Steve, and that's me, and I have a... Uh, <laughs> Pretty big feet for my body, you know what You're that says? Cute, right? <laughs> you know what that says, ladies. Oh god. Yeah. And we're gonna leave that Thank right you. there. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm gonna say Lee. something right now, okay? If I come back here next year and my photo's not on the wall, I swear I'm gonna snap. Okay. All right? I'm All gonna right. snap! Bye, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. I love you guys. I love you guys Bobby's so much. performing at the improv. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> We just made out. We totally made out. Schumberg I'm not kidding. I might Sunday. have a, a little baby Bobby Lee soon. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, Bobby Lee performs at the improv. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Get you what? Yeah, girl. I gotta go get a wipe. Finish your thing, girl. Uh, if you want more information about Bobby Lee in town, go to chicago.improv.com. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? And how was your day? Yeah, I think we're both gonna be okay. He did have a little runny nose. I think we might be sick by next week. Bobby, okay. are you okay? I'm fine. Bobby, you did a great job. <laughs> next on you and me, the code word you need to win an overnight stay at the Lowe's Hotel O'Hare, valued at $280. And then James Beard award-winning chef Michael Simon joins us. He's getting your uh, getting you ready for your Oscar party with his best award show recipes. You're watching you and me. We'll be right back. Wait for another one. <laughs> You know we are when we welcome a guy like this onto the show. Welcome Ohio native comedian Tom Segura, folks. So, okay, before we get into this. Shout out to everybody all over the world doing their thing and stuff like that. Shout out to Daniacs, XVLB, you know what I'm saying? Got it. <laughs> so, okay. This guy, I didn't want to know anything about him before he came on. I thought there's a lot of mystery behind these sunglasses. Yeah. I started asking him some questions. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to stop. So this is one big surprise coming up here. So Definitely. I first want to welcome you, Thank tell you, you I think you have the coolest style of any comedian that has come on the show. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. This is your, this is your look normally. This is how I roll, yeah. How, how, coming from Ohio, being from Cincinnati, like where do you kind of get your inspiration, I guess, from your... Clothes, um, clothes. You know, from the streets mostly. Um, you know, I travel a lot. I'm a SoCal guy now. I just picked it up from, you know, fights, fighting people, um, you know, beefing. Like, I got this, you know, I don't know. Beef? Why are you had some beef with Crazy Lokes, is it? Yeah, it's funny you mentioned Lokes. Um, yeah. So he's this rapper from San Jose okay. that uh, has been, you know, challenging me on YouTube, wanting to fight. And, uh, you know, he Wait, like physically fight. Yeah, he wants to step in the ring oh. and he's been working out at like Target and Walmart training and stuff. <laughs> and, you know, I just want him to know that I've been in Home Depot <laughs> and Staples and I've been throwing around like two by fours and I'm just ready to get down. I just want him, you know, what I'm saying I want him to know you feel me don't talk about you know, I'm saying that I'm ready to do this. So whenever he wants to step in the ring, we can get down. All right. Well, that's yeah. a challenge there. We just put that's that out there for challenge. the world. I want the whole world to know. That just reach out to Crazy Lokes and we can we can do this whenever he wants to do it. Okay, well I don't want to mess with you. And do you do this with other comedians too? Do you get into these? Uh... I mean, if they want to feel these hands, yeah, they can <laughs> they can they can let me know and I'll let them know right back. You know, I try to keep it, you know, pretty easy most of the time if I'm DJing 
or if I'm you DJ as well yeah I'll be DJing this weekend here I'm gonna tweet out uh, the location for a pop-up show so I'll be after the stand-up I'll be doing uh, some some sets wow. yeah. you so, you come. Do, so you do it all oh yeah 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 what else do you do, you do that I'm I mean, not aware of gymnastics I do that <laughs> Um, I mean, I hear you laughing, but I'm actually pretty damn good at really? it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could do, if I wanted to, I could do six flips right here, right now. Seriously? Well, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. If we didn't have these cameras right here, I would, you I have would too challenge much equipment you. And I don't want to pay that. <laughs> you don't want to but yeah. pay the cost of fix. So, gymnast as well? Gymnast. I'm an animal trainer. I train dogs. Um, I can train, I'm actually one of the few guys that can train cats, too. So, a lot of people. What's the coolest thing you've trained a cat to do? Uh, probably answer a phone. <laughs> Not like Mr. Jinx with the uh, to flush in the toilet. Did they know how to do that too? He, I trained a cat. If he ho if he hears a phone ring, flush the toilet. <laughs> yeah, he could hit the speakerphone button. <laughs> I like this guy because he, he you can't tell what he's serious, what he's joking. Is that, is that what your, that's what your comedy's like? We too? see your hand. <laughs> I'm we got a minute to I'm wrap this up. I'm gonna okay, well, so what, well, that means we, we still have a minute to get some really cool things out there. Yeah, about absolutely, you. yeah, absolutely. You have a, you work with your wife very closely, too? Yes. How does that work? Because she's a comedian as well. She's a person, and <laughs> she's uh, a living human woman. Mm -hmm. um, she allows me to touch her, and uh, she likes me, so we have a good relationship. I made a baby with her. Uh, it's wonderful. Consensual. Everything was cool. And uh, we love him. He's our son. He's already training right now. He's 15 weeks old. I got him lifting. I got him doing push ups. He's going to be something that you don't want to mess with for sure. He's going to be a big deal. Well, he's going to take after you then and challenge yeah. all these uh, oh, yeah. rappers and comedians out there. We're don't mess games. with this man. Lokes, if you want to step up and get, get hit, you know what to do, man. You meet me. At the Home Depot <laughs> on 6th Street, downtown LA, Monday at 3 o'clock, and we can see what happens. I'm sure he's watching too right now. You guarantee you he's watching, you know? Tom Segura here. Well, this is a very different look for you, I must say. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> so that guy is uh, down in Hilarities tonight through Saturday, right? So that's you right. Go, that's go him. check him out. That's, a, that's, that's more like a character I do. That's the old school yeah. you. Okay. This is the new you. How this much does this thing weigh? Sorry, can I can it's yeah, okay go ahead, go ahead. Okay, that's some heavy duty stuff there. It was eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> you're you're living the dream. Living the dream, bud. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. it. I appreciate Cleveland. Shout out to the Greenhouse Tavern. Good place, huh? It's a spot right awesome there. Awesome place to go. Yeah. All right, go check them out this weekend, guys, at Hilarity. Still to come on New Day Cleveland, we are toasting to some warmer weather. Easy recipes for spring spritzers. You might want to stick around and get a spring spritzer. I would love a spritzer. All right. What is that? <laughs> What's a spritzer? The drinks right over there. <laughs> Just, you know, nice drinks for All the right. summertime. I'll have one. Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, he was a regular on Mad TV and Chelsea Lately, but you may also know him from the big screen and movies like Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. Back there, it's comedian and actor Bobby Lee. Come on down. Bobby Lee. How are you? Oh, 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 no. Oh, almost spilled over Marion's oh, breakfast. My breath. How are you? Hi. Is this TV? It, it is, is TV. Yeah. Oh, can I sit over here? You can sit over here. Like yeah. Wherever you like. Wherever you I haven't you feel seen you in so long. It's good to see you. You've got so much energy. Oh, watch the, watch the, watch the public effect. Nice to see you. Did you have one of those five-hour energy drinks? My goodness. No, no, I didn't sleep last night. How come? Such a great show in Sacramento last night? No, I didn't do a show. I just flew in. Just a second? Yeah, do you guys like my mustache? I like it. That's it took me nine years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I look like a fat Manny Pacquiao. Ah. <laughs> like if Manny Pacquiao was fat. That Where's would be me. Is the, is the, you got a button over there. Is the button is of any It says Jew. Oh. <laughs> it does say Jew. It does say Jew. I, that's how bad my eyes yeah, are. I'm not Jewish. <laughs> I'm not Asian either. I have jaundice. <laughs> How's your mom's? Well, my, it was dad, relax. Anyway, um... <laughs> That's my father, by the way. Uh, we Bobby noticed the Lee. resemblance in instantly when... I'm yeah. going to jump in and say... Yes? I love your ass. You are great. And my favorite on Mad TV was 24 with Bobby Lee. Thank you so much for Anybody saying that. Anybody in this room remember 24 Oh, with Bobby my God. Lee? Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much. That's
to mention. Also a fan of the three-minute meal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, Mad TV is canceled. Now we work at Starbucks in Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> well, said, I know Mad TV is canceled, but yeah. these are some of your best Classic bits. Bit. I mean, the, the blind Plus, kung fu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The blind kung fu. Well, you know, I'm Asian, so I can play that pretty good. And Connie Chong. <laughs> really? I'm not blind. <laughs> but uh, you're Asian. Well, I have I little eyes. That right I have away. little yeah. eyes. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? I can still no. see fine like everybody no. else. Are you getting some good residual money out of that uh, show? Even though yeah, like uh, $300 little... a year. No, a year? Yeah, it's got to be more than that. Wow. That's what I got paid when I was on the show. <laughs> oh, now we brought up bad memories. Well, you know, it's amazing, though. I, is it true that you, uh, your family owned, like, a, some kind of clothing store or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back... My, my dad owned a um, clothing store called Fashion Gal for fat ethnic women. <laughs> Fashion Gal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the Lane Bryant, but for, like, Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Like, women love the word gal in almost anything. Yeah, yeah, Fashion yeah, yeah. Gal. Yeah. And um, my dad doesn't speak English really that good. But you so. didn't go into the family business. Why no, not? no, no. Um, because... I mean, instant, uh, instant money. You could have bought a well, house. Well, I have right? horrible work ethic. <laughs> you know how Asians were you know, generally smart? Like, that's why you don't ever see Asian homeless. <laughs> but, like, I could have been the first Asian homeless guy. So I, I had to pick, I had to pick a uh, occupation where I could, you know, only work for, like, 30 minutes a night because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm fat, too. Like, You're look, no, look at my body. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm shaped, I'm shaped like a scallop. It is a little deceiving. You can't really tell. Thank you. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, yeah, Asians, we look young for eight. I'm, I'm 82 years old. Wow, I never would have guessed. What's your uh, secret? And I'm 90. But, uh, What's your secret? Uh, well, my face, I don't there's no secret. My face looks good. I look like short round from Indiana Jones. Sure. But, my, but my body looks like Mr. Miyagi, so that's the secret. Tina, you want to chime in? You got, to, oh, I'm, you got I'm Filipino listening. over here. I'm appreciating your humor. Hi. Hi. I love Filipinos. People write in, they think she's uh, she's Japanese or Mexican, Mexican. or nobody Oh, nobody yeah, you know, you know, it's so sad because I was on TV for a while, eight years, and people recognize me, but people think I'm somebody else. Like, I always get, like, hey, heroes. Jackie <laughs> Chan. Yeah, or, or one time, like, Grey's Anatomy, and I go, that's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. You were, you were fantastic in, in that movie about the wine then, on the Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, I got to work with um, good, good actors. I bet you thank did. You so much. Now, I bet sorry, you did. sorry for all the, the crummy weather. Well, you just missed a bad storm yesterday, so today get out, enjoy a little of uh, Northern California, man. Thank you. Um, can you promote my show? Oh, oh yes, yeah, let's do that. I, Bobby, please. He's at the punchline. That's why I'm here. He's at the punchline. That's, is that you? Yeah, Come that's on. me. That's you. That's the rest of the staff. Tonight, Sunday, LiveNation.com for tickets if you like, or just drop by and uh, and buy one there. Bobby Lee! <laughs> this is the Fantastic. picture after. Hey guys, show. thanks for having me on. Good thanks for being here. Oh, no, a lot of love. How about some for dad? How about love for dad? Yeah, 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 yeah. He put you through college. He, he, you never call, you, you never, never call, write. you never write. Bobby Lee, see you later. Nice. There right. he goes. Bye, Bobby. <laughs> Deadbeat parents being caught in Kentucky thanks to pizza boxes. We'll tell you that story coming up. And Christine Anderson's keeping tabs on your morning's headlines in the newsroom. Good morning. And good morning. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. His list of accolades goes on and on. He liked that one. Including being a finalist on Last Comic Standing, welcome comedian Joe List. Thank you. Studio. How are you? I'm great. Happy to be here. It's good to excited. see you. Nice to see you. Thanks I for having me. I get excited and happy when comedians, they come, they sit down, like, you know what? I'm ready to play ball and have some fun today. Yeah, let's have some They're fun. They're not all like that. I'll just warn you right now. So you're, it's very, it's very nice. To, it's refreshing. Yeah, a lot of jerks out there, folks. Yeah. <laughs> These guys. Uh, no, I'm a good guy. I'm a, this is my camera here. That's that's the one that if you want to say anything to you, talk directly to that. This is like the serious. Like I'm pleading for votes. <laughs> this camera. This is just like whatever over here. But this is like we got to save the kids. <laughs> Oh, God, I hate my face. No, oh, stop. Horrible. Oh, it's brutal. So it's been about a year since I think we saw you last, Yeah, a little right? over a year. I was here like in October of last year, I think, yeah. Was it like that. since the last time we saw you that you picked up this amazing ability to do martial arts? Yeah, I've been taking uh, mixed martial arts. So if anybody here wants to get uh, their butt kicked, I'm happy <laughs> to do it. Uh, I really edited myself there. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a martial artist now. This is the level I'm at with MMA. People are like, could you beat someone up? I could beat someone up if they're fully cooperating with me. <laughs> like if someone's like, do you want to fight? And I'd be like, yeah. Could you turn your back to me and not resist anything? <laughs> I would win that fight. That's my level. How, how does one, I mean, this is something fairly new. You want me to choke you out? I'll Wait, choke I, you out I, right I here. Mean, I mean. Listen, I've had worse things happen to me with comedians, so. Okay. Um, no, Why I'm happy not? to do it. Um, sorry, what was For the question? I, I mean, got excited. How did you? Get on to this. I mean, what, what, what? I am. Uh, I have a lot of time to kill. I'm lonely, and I hate my face. And so I thought, why don't I get an ability to beat someone up in case someone goes, "Hey, what's up, ugly face?" 
bang, nail them, you know? So, so there's, not, there, there's not levels like there is with karate sometimes with belts so to, to show your experience, is there? I think there's level. Well, I'm doing jujitsu. That's a belt situation. Okay. I have no what? belt. Oh, no belt yet. I got yet. suspenders right now, but <laughs> I can get, hopefully someday I'll get to the belt situation. Um, and then you can fight and win or lose or whatever. It's but like, I'm, a big, scary. I'm a big, I'm a big, I like to tap. You can tap and that like ends the fight. You tap out. Which I think done. we should have that socially. Like you're at a bar or a party and someone's telling you a story and you're just like, you know, I think I'm done with this. You tap out <laughs> and that's it, you know? Uh, I would you not must, tap in this conversation. I'm enjoying well, thank, this very much. Well, yeah, of I course. appreciate you're just saying that to be yeah. nice because you know that your counterpart on your podcast gave yeah. me a hard time. He came and uh, it's viral. I just looked at it. It's like 350,000 views. I'm, this one's going to have 11 probably. <laughs> It's oh pretty my good. God. Is that what I look like? These TV, the, uh, HD is the worst thing that ever happened to my life. That is not true. That's Why horrible. Why do you give yourself such a hard time? Well, I just hate it. It looks terrible. <laughs> I got a, um, can I tell you this story? Oh, no, sure. I got a haircut recently in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Normally I get it in Queens, which is like, you know, Manhattan's very hip, swanky. She, she. I talk to this camera. Yeah. yeah. And the lady was like, you want me to do your eyebrows? And I was like, okay, I guess my eyebrows are out of control. <laughs> and so I was like, sure. And I thought she would take some scissors and kind of clip them, but she took the clippers, like full, like across. And I wasn't wearing my glasses. My vision's very bad. I couldn't see my eyebrows in the mirror. And I was like, I think this lady just shaved my eyebrows <laughs> clean off. And then I thought, well, maybe that's like the new thing. It's Manhattan. Maybe we're supposed to be painting Follow our eyebrows there. on. They know what they're talking about normally. But if you know, they're very, they're thinned. They're thinner than normal. That scared you. It it's, scared it's, the hell out of me. It's scary to lose the hair on yeah. your eyebrows. Yeah, you have great eyebrows. Well, thank Yours you are for like saying, quaffed well, and fill them in. Ah, so that's, I could show you how to do that too if you ever wanted. If you felt they were too thin. Yeah, I'll show you how to tips. kill a man with your hands, and you show me how to fill an eyebrow, and then we'll both be better off. <laughs> you think they just you, you, you travel a lot. Yeah, so you must stop. meet a lot of interesting people, and I'm wondering, like, you know, do you ever feel the need to? bring out that mixed martial art? Uh, I want to all the show. time, uh, constantly. I was on a plane the other day, the guy behind me, he kept yawning out loud the whole flight, like, <laughs> for like five hours. I wanted to choke him to death, for sure. Because you don't need to make a noise when you yawn. That's like a decision. That is a, de that is a decision. It's You're like right. if you were hungry and you started yelling, I'm hungry, like on the plane. It's not necessary. And he just wants you to, he just wants you to be like, oh my God, are you tired? That's what he's going for. So I didn't ask him. I think it's fun to not ask somebody you a question. You almost like chopped him. I thought about approach. it. Yeah, if he had given me his arm, I would have <laughs> arm dragged him, rear naked choke. I, f I find this very interesting. I think that's awesome that you picked this up and you're doing this mix. I don't. I can't get off of it because I just think it's. Oh, thank you. It's intriguing. You don't hear many comedians talk about doing something like that as well. No, it's pretty sexy. Yeah, my um, <laughs> my wife is like turned on by it. She thinks it's hot. Well, see. Yeah, which is nice. But I think if she came to the gym and watched me, she would be less. <laughs> <laughs> turned on. It's just a guy on top of me, and I'm like, okay, I quit, I quit. You know, I don't picture her being she like, She saw oh. your jab. She saw yeah. your jab out. <laughs> I don't think my wife's like, oh, I love how he quits so fast, you know. But, um, but yeah, she thinks it's hot. And uh, if you think it's hot, I could it's great. text her and end it. And, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, hey, you can, you can catch Joe. He's going to be at Hilarities uh, tonight through Saturday. You can also watch him on Netflix, right? You have a Netflix special yes. out? Yes. Season two of the stand-ups, it's on there right now. I don't think anyone watched it, so go watch it, for God's sakes. And none of the material I'm doing tonight is on there. So That's always fun. That's good yeah. to know, I think. Yeah. And then your podcast with Mark Norman. Yes, Mark and I do a podcast called Tuesdays with Stories. If you're watching this program, you're probably going to hate our podcast. Okay. It's pretty irreverent. It's More like horrific. what Mark talks about. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty wild. Okay. So. Well, you never know. But I don't want to judge the people watching the show. They might no. enjoy that also. I, listen, I thank you so much for coming in. It was a pleasure. A breath of fresh air. It's good to see you again. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right, David. Welcome back here to New Day Cleveland. It is time for a little bit of a laugh. We need comedian Mark Norman in our lives. He'll be here at Hilarities this weekend. So welcome here into the, in, into the studio. It's good to have you hey, here. Hey, good to be here. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. I'm a little hungover, a little gay, but uh, just <laughs> glad to be here with you, sister. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I'm very happy to be here with you, too. All right. I, I, Sorry, no. just hiding my erection. I, I, but, uh, yeah, no, I, this is great. I know you just left Slimans. Yeah, I had Slimans, so I'm really going to be on the toilet later. But, yeah. uh, boy, best corned beef in, in the Midwest, if you ask me. It's delicious. They, it's the size of your head. Yeah, yeah, and I ate way too much. But uh, at least everybody there was very attractive. That's good. No, I'm kidding. Okay. But uh, 
Good, good, good grub there. Oof, still yeah, hurting. Yeah, I bet you are. I yeah, I've been you. farting it up in the green room, and uh, I think I scared That's the... why the door was the shut yeah. to our little smaller green room. Exactly. You were yeah, just trying yeah. to be polite. Uh, we call it hot boxing. <laughs> really soaking it all in, because the smell of your own farts, for some reason, is enjoyable. If you farted, it'd be weird. But if I fart, I enjoy it. I don't know why. Is that a guy thing? Maybe. Because I feel like I w you'd hear a guy. No woman would ever say something like that. No, no, you guys are more of a, maybe a queefing. Oh my gosh! But, okay, uh, well, is that is that clean? T t That's no, a well, we're 10 a.m. TV. I mean, you know. Uh, oh, sorry, 10 a.m. <laughs> you know, you've up, you had your coffee, and your, your meth, or who knows what. So uh, yeah, we're all adults here. <laughs> so you live you live in New York City now, but you're from New Orleans. Yeah, wow, well done. You read and my grinder bio. I, I was looking you up, yes. Yeah. And I, but I I know that that uh, we're talking about. Uh, we were talking about Cleveland sports here, but I know for you guys and, and your Saints that was a difficult. Ah, I'm sorry to bring that up, but I know that was that was tough. Brutal. We really thought we had it. You know, New Orleans, all we do is drink and go to strip clubs, so we really needed this win. You know, but uh, no dice right there. So close. Yeah. There's always next year, right? Yes, but we get that. one of these every you know century, and that was our shot. Drew Brees, <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> So, but you live in New York now, though. So yeah. living in New York City, and did, is it true that did you just recently move in with a, a lovely a, lady? I bought a place. I got a, I moved in with a lady and Alexa. Uh, oh, oh got Alexa one. is your lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh. Yeah, she's uh, she keeps track of everything, and she gets mad when I talk to Siri. Oh. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, bought my place. I own a piece of the rock. In Manhattan, it's the only thing my parents have been proud of that I've done. I've done The Tonight Show, Conan, Colbert, Comedy Central, but when I bought my apartment, that's when they actually started answering my phone calls. <laughs> but hey, that's why I'm a comedian, because yeah. uh, I gotta get love somewhere. <laughs> Whoop, sorry, is that a me too? <laughs> All right. I can handle it. I can handle it. <laughs> so, but for you, being, I mean, you're young. So Black. getting into this business Black and. Don't crack. Getting into this business and. Um, <laughs> I'm 35, 35, not that young, <laughs> but, uh, you know, not on the Viagra yet. Or am I? Who knows? I like to snort it. Oh, well, Kicks in quicker. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> we, I think that's my cue to just wrap oh, this up. Oh, is that it? Yeah, oh, Mark, Mark Norman's going to be at Hilarities tonight through, you're there through Saturday? Yes, please. Okay, so he's there through Saturday. If you have a sense of humor like this, you want to get down and you want to enjoy some more comedy from him, go see him. The food's great. Yeah, food is good. It's a great club. Pickwick and Frolic. You got it, buddy. All right, that's just a taste of funny man, comedian Tom Segura here. He's going to be in Jacksonville this whole weekend, so you got to catch out a show, but welcome. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> you look a little different. Thanks for dressing up for us. Well, you know, I've been focusing more on my DJing, so, uh, you know, the comedy's kind of like something on the side now. I just really, it's all about the after party. You know, Is this, so. Does this have anything to do with your big announcement? No, no. no. Oh, it's just random? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, no. The DJ is something that's really, you know, I'm focusing on, and I tweet out, like, where it is, and then people go, they come from the comedy show to the, to the live show, you know? Yeah, because okay. I was going to say, with your little outfit that you have on now, a DJ? Outfit. Yes. Or I, I thought maybe, you know, uh, an athlete of some sort. That's kind of Well, thinking. actually, you know, I, I, I'm also a sports agent now, and I recently, uh, I took uh, Jalen Ramsey, uh, the new Jaguar. He's actually now a client of mine. Oh, good. Yeah. Very Is nice. Is that the big announcement you were talking about earlier? No, no, no. no that's totally not even an either. You are full of things. No, no. no. So how's that going? How's that relationship panning out? With oh, Jay and I are cool, man. Um, you know, uh, I worked out the Old Spice deal, and then I'm... Uh, <laughs> He's gonna. Um, we're meeting with Nike this week. Uh, oh, that's not bad for rookie. A, a that's all you have to do. Two yeah. endorsements and you're done. Career's over. Yeah, and then we get the contract, and it's good. I mean, it's three percent, but it's still that, that adds <laughs> up, you know. You got the Madden video game cover. You got to push for that. Yeah, and I'm also on the phone with with the EA people trying to get his rating up, you know, because a lot of players worry about how sure. he works. So I'm trying to get him in the 90s. Working the phones, the I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm a busy guy, man. Yeah. You so are. the announcement. The big <laughs> announcement. The big announcement I want to make uh, is that last year, you know. Uh, I, I came out as poly and bi, and now I'm proud to say that uh, I'm non-binary. What is that? Oh, interesting. <laughs> is there any? Is there more to this? Because I'm confused. Oh yeah, like so most yeah. people fall within the male sure. 
a female binary, yeah. right? and then I'm non-binary, so okay. I don't fall into either one. You know, so like I'm actually like fluid binary, meaning that depending on the moment, I kind of go between different genders. Interesting. So like today, I'm <laughs> astral gender right now, which is a, I'm a gender from outer space. As two hosts who couldn't find a door yesterday to get into a place, we are totally lost. Cool. Well, you know, <laughs> it's just like, it was a pretty, it's a pretty big thing to come out as non-binary. So. Yeah, you're the first we've encountered. Really? Yeah, So totally. that is a big announcement. It's a big announcement. And thanks for announcing yeah. that on our show. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to share it with everybody, you know. So, uh, you know, just if you don't mind referring to me as they or them. <laughs> I'm serious. It's done. They, they, they are going to be at the Comedy Zone tonight, so what can people expect from you all? Uh, well, you know, we're going to do our thing. It's a, it's a whole new hour. It's, it's different uh, than mostly stories or completely normal of the last two Netflix specials. So it's a whole new hour, and then, um, you know, I'll, I'll be going from, from the stage, like I said, to spinning records at, at a local uh, place for, a, for an after show. So uh -huh. maybe doing some recruiting here in the area too, right? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I, I might have time to swing by uh, Tallahassee maybe on Friday, meet some players and try to sign somebody else. But um, I'm excited. You are I'm a busy guy. The board. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. triple threat, but in different different careers. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, Not your yeah. typical triple threat. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you can catch Tom on stage all weekend at the Comedy Zone. Shout out to Throatzilla. New Orleans native, but now resides in New York City, where he is taking the comedy scene by storm. And I can't believe what I'm going to get ready uh -huh. to read here. I know. This is a new intro for us. This is. He claims to have been a bedwetter as a kid, even <laughs> as an adult. Comedian Mark Norman, stand-up is anything but dry, and you can see for yourself this weekend at Side Splitters. But first, he's here with us. I got to say, I knew you oh, were hey, a self- sorry. Hey, don't you, wet yourself I didn't there. know we were uh, it happens. a little. It happens. Uh, well, th that was perfect for the intro then. Yeah. yeah. Good timing on your behalf, Bed right? wetter till I was 14. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. Yeah, a lot of ruined mattresses. It looked like a coffee filter. Oh. Uh, yeah, but I'm over it now. I'm good. Okay, that's good. Well, one thing that I've been able to kind of pick up is you do have that old self-deprecating humor, which sure. I, I do enjoy in mm -hmm. a comedian. I do hate myself. <laughs> Uh, I'm always drawn to people that, that hate me, I guess because we have so much in common. Oh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think most comics should be a little self-deprecating. It'd be weird if, it were, if I was just like, I'm great, I'm amazing, you know? So you got to make fun of yourself a little. Well, let's t tell us a little bit about yourself. I wanted to hear about life growing up in New Orleans. It seems like such a cool area of the country. Very different than I think most others. Very different. It's pretty lawless down there. Very yeah. boozy. Uh -huh. uh, all my friends are, you know, pieces of garbage and uh, <laughs> doing nothing. And I, I love it there. You go back down there and you slip right back in. You're like, I'll have a cocktail at 9 a.m. And I'll uh, find a prostitute. Chasing alligators down there, too? Yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. all silly. <laughs> I mean, if... Alligators is code for drugs, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's heard a that code word yet. It's a weird place. It's it feels like it's stuck in the past, and that's how people like it. You know, it's just you go there, you 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 kick back, you say a racial slur, and you get a margarita. Oh, you know no. what I mean? In a good way. In a you know what? Way. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go here uh -oh. as as nice as I can. Uh -oh. So. Right now, my news feed and Facebook is filled with everything dealing with the Nike's new app. Oh, yeah. And you know what I like about you, you're not really saying sides, you're just making jokes about That's it. That's all I do. I don't have any political, I got no agenda. I just, I'm a comic, I'm a joke guy. So I throw a joke out there and I, I get the hell out of there. There were some good jokes though, that you're sharing know, on your Nike Twitter. Oh, thanks. It. Yeah. Hey, thanks. What was it I said? Uh, every new Nike should come with one knee pad. <laughs> you know? But that's, you know, clear. <laughs> Nobody like gets that. hurt. No one gets hurt. But now on your podcast, though, you kind of throw the whole PC thing out the window. Oh, yeah. The podcast is filthy. It's not for the uh, <laughs> light of heart. Then, though, the PC is so all over us now. You can't say anything. You guys know. You can't mm -hmm. say anything interesting. Yep. Uh -huh. You know, you're I was in the scared to bring news. up the Nike thing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, good I was for a little you. nervous there. I don't know how you guys live like this because it just oozes out of me you know I'm a horrible human being I just farted and uh, that's a first hearing yeah. it on our show so Man. you know I could I, I'm a cow I could I have to tell the truth I can't live like that so uh, yeah it's just fun it's fun to just get it out well, there what and is your podcast about what are the it's Tuesdays Tuesdays with stories, stories. I like it. so me and my friend Joe list he goes on the road I go on the road I think he's in South Carolina, I'm in Tampa, and then we come back on Monday, we say everything, who we had sex with, who got heckled, who got drunk, who did drugs, and uh, 
and come back and talk about it. Man, it sounds like you have to yeah. up your game in every city you, you go do, to though, so yes. you can have stories for the podcast. Uh, when all good things from Tampa though. Oh, this is a this place is a and land specifically of sin. the morning blend. Well, you know, you mentioned your friends a few times. I mean, you really are friends with it seems like the who's who of comedy scene these wow, days. Wow, I don't it's know a, about that. It's a that. small community though. It is. We're all degenerates and weirdos and creeps and drunks and uh, we're like pirates. We need each other. We we're, we're I could never work in like a real professional setting. I'd get fired immediately and me too and the whole thing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we need we're all weird and awkward and analyze so we have to hang out together. That's why so it's fun. You like never know what to expect. We're weird analyze no, you guys are very you know normal. What? Here's the thing. We have voices in our head that's telling us we have to go to break right now. So oh. that's how weird we are. The All right. I got coming a voice today. too, but it's much worse. Of course. You can check them out at Site Splitters for yourself. There's the information on your screen.